Sacramento County is trying to spread this. They're deliberately wanting to bring down Trump by spreading the disease and spreading the infections. It is a criminal sabotage act on the part of Sacramento County. They can't be that stupid. They can't be that ignorant. It's not complacency, it is sabotage. So you have the CDC trying to sabotage Trump, Sacramento County, again, an anti-Trump bunch of left-wing lunatics. By the way, Mike, let me just to... interrupt you, and then yeah. I want you to host another segment or two if you can, just yourself, so you can have the floor. But let me ask this question. When you sit there and you say they're sabotaging, you're not joking. They're openly rooting for it to hurt people. They're hoping it brings down the economy and the president. They're hoping it kills the recovery. When China was shooting people at checkpoints and closing borders and, and, and countries were banning flights from there, it was wonderful. We ban flights. It's the worst thing ever. Then Trump's not doing enough. He bans flights from Europe where it's running rampant. And now he's the bad guy. They have a bill in federal court saying they're going to block it. But then it's his fault not doing enough. Well, Trump needs to declare a national emergency and then just take the actions that are necessary and ignore the courts that are trying to uh, block these necessary actions. Uh, these, these Obama appointed federal judges need to be just. Well, put I in totally their place. agree with you, but there's a Hollywood, big tech, they're all concerted effort doing this. Uh, I mean, clearly, this is the move against America. This is it. This is absolutely huge. This is seismic. And they don't want us on air. They want us arrested for using our free speech. Well, America isn't going to buy it, and people aren't going to put up with it. Mike, I'll hold you a little bit in the next hour, and then I'm going to give my big take on this. I mean, we pretty much figured out what it is and what's going on. But uh, I think you know, Trump's change of trajectory now with his announcement last night, a pretty big deal. Uh, so thanks for joining us, Mike, out of centralnews.com. Well, absolutely. Trump has made a huge decision in the right direction. He's taken a leadership role on this right now. I think Trump just saved his presidency, frankly. I was very concerned that he wasn't going to take this uh, with the aggressiveness that he needed to, but he, but he did, and he did that last night. He changed the trajectory. We fed the new numbers into our pandemic projection model, and based on Trump's decision to block flights from Europe, as well as governors and mayors across America blocking public events, we now believe there is a 30% social distancing suppression factor, which takes our number of projected deaths by July 4th in America down substantially from what was 1.1 million now to 283,000. So in other words, Trump and other government officials who are, are, are canceling public events, they just saved 800,000 American lives, okay? That's the kind of future that we're dealing with here. And if they get more aggressive in the coming weeks, which they will, mark my words, then the number of deaths can be even more reduced. We might be able to, to limit this to just a few thousand deaths by this summer if they get more and more aggressive, but you know, we'll have to see. I think Dr. Fauci is correct. It depends on how we respond to this virus. We could end up with millions of Americans dead if we did nothing, or we could end up with only a few thousand dead if we get very aggressive with social distancing. Uh, but on your comments on, on silver and copper, I just wanna mention new research out there that talks about how long the coronavirus survives on surfaces, shows that on copper surfaces, it's killed in hours, whereas the, the virus survives for many days, up to nine days on other surfaces, such as cardboard or plastic or others. And silver is known to, to kill uh, the viability of viruses and kill bacteria even more aggressively than copper. So my estimation, as an elemental scientist, I run a science lab, we deal with elements all the time, we run microbiology as well, that silver would probably kill this virus on surfaces more quickly than copper. So anyone saying that silver doesn't work against the coronavirus is out of their minds or just illiterate when it comes well, Mike, to real when science. My uncle and my cousin and my dad's uncle were all from the same ranch, all got the same respiratory thing six years ago and all died from Christmas into New Year's. They all died within about three weeks of each other. I was in Palestine at the big hospital, and they had silver spray bottles and stuff everywhere. And we're yes. like, it's, it's all that works now, and, they're just, the, 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 and, and the nurses are just lathering themselves and spraying silver everywhere. They go, the iodine isn't working anymore, and this isn't working, and we just use this, and it's working. Uh, it's, I mean, everybody knows that. It's like a scientific... Yeah. Well, studies have shown that hospitals could drastically reduce the number of superbug infections in hospitals if they just had copper doorknobs and copper surfaces throughout the hospital. So, yeah, copper and silver uh, kill bacteria and they denature viruses as well very, very quickly. That's, that's widely known and documented across the medical community. Well, re regardless of how deadly it is, the panic's here. Tom Hanks supposedly has it. They've canceled the NBA. Trump's canceled planes from Europe. What, what's Trump gonna shut down next? We know that's coming. Stay with us.
they're all over the news saying people that sell storable food are bad, people that have it are bad. If you're a prepper, you're bad. But I have a whole stack of articles I'm going to get to next hour where the billionaires, most of them, have run to underground bunkers with private airfields and their own private security forces. That's all okay. But if we say, hey, look at all these studies about nano silver and colloidal silver and how the military uses it and how hospitals use it and how it's sold at the store, when we say that, we're bad because there's one thing that's going to save you. And that's vaccines that they don't even have a vaccine for. And this thing's mutating just like the flu. So when you take a vaccine for this one, it doesn't cover it for that one. And it's all a giant hoax. And they don't want us here. They don't want you here. They don't want you to hear Dr. Joel or uh, Dr. Steve Pachinik coming on. They don't want you to hear World Affairs Brief editor in chief, Joel Scowls. And they don't want you to hear any of these guys. They don't want you to hear Mike Adams here. They tell you there's no hope, there's nothing, but staying where you are. And then if you try to boost your immune system, you're a bad guy. Absolutely insane uh, and, and just totally crazy. Uh, Mike Adams, continue with your projections of what's going to happen of what's going to unfold. Uh, as you said, you think Trump saved his presidency by not letting them demonize him and say he had none enough. But notice the Democrats have come out incredibly and said that it's his fault now and that he should keep the borders open and let the flights continue to come in. So the Democrats can't have it both ways, can they? No, they, they want the president to be weak. Now, now look, something very important is happening right now today. Uh, not only is the Capitol building now closed and evacuated because a Senate staffer tested positive for the coronavirus. So now we're, we're starting to look at can our government function in the middle of this epidemic. But also uh, Drudge has this headline, the CDC only tested 77 patients during the entire week. 77 patients. That's, that's criminally negligent. Uh, South Korea tested tens of thousands of people this week. Italy tested thousands of people. The U.S. Government tested 77 people. That's, that's absolutely unacceptable. Trump needs to clean house there. But even bigger, Sacramento County has announced they're dropping all quarantines. They're no longer going to try to contain this. They're just releasing all high-risk patients right out to the public. I, I've got a story on this right now up on my website just a few minutes ago. Uh, I've called for Trump to declare a national emergency and literally dispatch the military to take over Sacramento County in order to reestablish basic medical principles of the modern era. Sacramento County is trying to spread this. They're deliberately wanting to bring down Trump by spreading the disease and spreading the infections. It is a criminal sabotage act on the part of Sacramento County. They can't be that stupid. They can't be that ignorant. It's not complacency, it is sabotage. So you have the CDC trying to sabotage Trump, Sacramento County, again, an anti-Trump bunch of left-wing lunatics. By the way, Mike, let me just interrupt you, and then yeah. I want you to host another segment or two, if you can, just yourself, so you can have the floor. But let me ask this question. When you sit there and you say they're sabotaging, you're not joking. They're openly rooting for it to hurt people. They're hoping it brings down the economy and the president. They're hoping it kills the recovery. When China was shooting people at checkpoints and closing borders and, and, and countries were banning flights from there, it was wonderful. We ban flights. It's the worst thing ever. Then Trump's not doing enough. He bans flights from Europe where it's running rampant. And now he's the bad guy. They have a bill in federal court saying they're going to block it. But then it's his fault not doing enough. Well, Trump needs to declare a national emergency and then just take the actions that are necessary and ignore the courts that are trying to uh, block these necessary actions. Uh, these, these Obama appointed federal judges need to be just. Well, man, put I in totally their place. agree with you, but there's a Hollywood, big tech, they're all concerted effort doing this uh, i mean clearly this is the move against america this is it absolutely and and they've set a trap for trump as we've talked about for over a month oh, like trump, it's uncanny how you and i and others laid out exactly what would happen what yep. they would do next just knowing their mentality and that it's man-made well and if you want to know what's coming next trump will have to ban certain domestic uh, flight paths so flights out of seattle will probably be banned i i, I expect the seattle airport will be quarantined and shut down uh, very, very soon, perhaps within a week. And then that will happen in Northern California, Boston, Massachusetts, and New York City as well in subsequent weeks. That's that's a very likely type of behavior. I do expect Trump to increase the, the military deployment on the southern border in order to block illegals who are carrying infections into sanctuary cities especially. But there's another big factor in all this, Alex, and this is a question. Do mosquitoes 
uh, carry this bloodborne disease. In other words, in the summer in America, will mosquitoes spread this like uh, mosquitoes spread malaria? Uh, mosquitoes currently spread 200 plus uh, diseases that are bloodborne. When mosquitoes bite you, they actually suck some of your blood and then they inject a little bit of that blood into the other person. That's, that's how malaria spreads. Uh, now, malaria is not a, a virus, of course, but viruses are present in blood and much smaller than bacteria. So can mosquitoes spread this? We don't know the answer to that yet, but if they do spread it, then our world is in trouble. And by the way, it's not going away just when the summer comes because Australia is in hot weather right now. And in Australia, this is spreading like mad. So hot weather doesn't shut this thing down. That's, that's crucial for us to understand. We're going to have to deal with this all summer. Uh, probably for years to come. And by the way, we've been told by the media going back six weeks, don't try to block Chinese. Don't be racist. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter w whether they're Chinese or Russian or, or from Africa or wherever. If the disease is a place and it's that group, what did Italy have? A bunch of Chinese workers in Milan and other areas uh, that were doing all the fancy shoes and all the clothing uh, and others. That's admitted a huge imported Chinese uh, worker population. Same thing that we see in the mines and in a bunch of other things where China owns most of the mines in Australia and has all sorts of facilities there and is built like its own enclaves. Well, that's where you see the hotspots. So clearly, China incubated this and then deployed it worldwide. Well, absolutely. And they're not done. This is just the first wave. So you, you hinted at this earlier. This is a softening up phase for America. There is a much more virulent strain that will be released and I believe that Italy has just experienced a, a natural mutation that's made it more deadly there. America doesn't probably have that mutation yet, but it may happen on its own, or we're going to get hit with a second wave of this. So this is nowhere near over. China's hoping that America collapses in terms of its infrastructure, its hospitals, and its stock market, and also executive power, i.e. the president. And once that happens, China will unleash even more attacks, possibly in a worst case scenario, an actual invasion uh, of, of America via California. That's, that's a scenario that we have to take uh, as realistic, although it's, it's pretty far down the road. It, things have to get very bad before they would even attempt that. Uh, so, so it's good news that Trump has started to take a leadership position on this, and he's getting a handle on this, and he's, he's starting to move in the right direction. And that's, that's exactly what we need to see happen. By, by cracking down on the social sharing of the virus, Trump is defeating the deep state and defeating the leftists and saving his presidency and allowing elections to take place. I agree, Mike, the place. only way I'm going to let you talk is if I let you host the next two segments. If you got to go, I understand. But how about you just come in and host uh, the first segment and then part of the next and introduce sure. Just get other points you want. And I'm going to be here listening, and then I'm going to get into what I projected is really going on. And now I, 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 I agree with you. This is as bad as it's going to get. And then it's an opening salvo of a larger role. And it really all crystallized for me doing deep research last night, this morning, and talking to you. And I think you just picked up where I was going without me even telling you. I think you're starting to concur with me as we as we brainstorm here that this is a opening salvo in something much larger. Absolutely it is. There, there, there's no question. And, and it depends on how Trump responds to this of the readiness of America for dealing with the, the second This is wave. a probe. This is a test. Talk about that when you come back. Yes. Everybody. They're trying to shut us down. You see it everywhere, the demonization, the attacks, the lies, the propaganda. You can't believe any of it. Almost all of it's pure bull. That's why they're attacking me because they, want, they don't want people when they hear the show to believe us. They go, oh, that guy's this or that guy's that. or you know, it, All of it is deception, ladies and gentlemen. We're here telling the truth. Infowars.com, newswars.com, band.video. That's where the truth and the real research is all posted so tell people you want all the truth about coronavirus band.video infowars.com naturalnews.com is doing a great job and get great supplements at infowarsstore.com back in stock all right uh, we are continuing here let me let me give you a quick breakdown of really what's happening in sacramento county especially to try to spread this virus across america as a way to politically hurt trump so if if you can bring up that story it's a press release from sacramento county from march 9th and in that press release, the county says that in, in their shift from containment to mitigation, they're no longer going to have any quarantines, and they're no longer even testing people who are in high-risk groups. So what we have here now, even though the county admits that there are only 10 confirmed infections in the entire county, what we actually have is a, a deliberate surrender to the virus on purpose in order to allow it to spread 
in California. Now, if you are listening to this and you live in Sacramento County, you should call your officials in that county. You should demand their arrest or, or demand they reverse this. I'm calling for Trump to deploy the military to take control of Sacramento County. And as we, we heard with Stuart Rhodes yesterday, the military's role in this should be to protect public health, set up hospital triage units for the surge of cases that's coming, especially in places like Central and Northern California. So th we're not talking about military enforcing quarantines at gunpoint and locking people in their homes. We're talking about the military supporting uh, testing, which is necessary, and then helping maintain quarantines of high-risk individuals for a reasonable amount of time to make sure that this does not spread. That is how South Korea successfully has shut this thing down. It's how Taiwan shut it down. It's how Singapore shut it down. And the reason you have over, what, 12,000 infections in Italy and the hospitals overrun almost to the point of total collapse, the collapse of Italy is now threatened. Why? Because they acted too late. They did not do the early things that Singapore did and, and South Korea did and Taiwan did, and even Hong Kong, by the way. And when you have a county in California, Sacramento County, deliberately engaging in criminal sabotage to spread this virus across America, then it, it is absolutely time for President Trump to declare a national emergency, send the military into Sacramento County, seize control of the public health department there, arrest the officials, march them out, prosecute them, put them in jail, and reestablish basic modern medical common sense. That's exactly what I'm calling for. You can quote me on that. It has to be done. You cannot allow these radical left-wing anti-Trump lunatics in California to sacrifice the health of their own citizens in their effort to spread the panic and spread the disease and try to create an economic collapse. And it's long past time. Anybody still saying this is just the flu? You don't know what you're talking about. Trump has got to get serious. He's already started to do that. He now needs to declare a national emergency and he needs to make it very clear. Any counties that are going to try to sabotage the nation are going to be seized by the military. That is what must be done in America right now. Now, fortunately, here in Texas, we have a governor who understands all of this. Our governor in Texas will work to protect the people. And there are governors, even Democrat governors, such as Governor Inslee in Washington state, who also can do the math. He seems to understand exactly what's happening. He's prepared to issue a statewide lockdown in Washington state, it sounds like, very soon. I'm predicting a closure of the Seattle airport in the not too distant future and possibly some quarantine lockdown measures involving Seattle and surrounding areas in Washington state. The more we achieve what's called social distancing suppression factors, the fewer deaths we will have this summer and the more successful our national health care system will be in responding to this. You have to control the number of infections and deaths, reduce that number to a manageable level because if the hospitals get overrun, then the mortality rate skyrockets to 10 to 15 percent, especially among the elderly. So that's a wrap up of where we are right now in America. I know a lot of great guests are coming up next on the show. I'm going to be, I believe, hosting for the next couple of minutes. So stay with us. We'll be back with more updates as this unfolds, this vicious disease that Trump is now trying to beat while saving his presidency and saving our nation. Stay with us. So by now, of course, you know that Tom Hanks and his wife were reportedly uh, diagnosed with coronavirus and are currently in isolation in a hospital in Australia. Now, of course, there's some conjecture that maybe Tom Hanks, uh, some say, might be faking it in order to spread uh, uh, panic or, or fear about the virus. Personally, I don't think that Tom Hanks would lie about this thing, uh, this, this epidemic. My belief is that because Tom Hanks... You know, he shakes a lot of hands. He's a very visible figure. He was working on a movie set reportedly in Australia. And Australia has an uncontained outbreak situation happening there. So Tom Hanks is actually the kind of person with a kind of social interaction that would be exposed to this, uh, just like, frankly, President Trump is as well, and members of Congress who are running for office. Uh, and we've seen members of the, the government in Iran uh, die because of this virus, and, and large numbers of, of people uh, all over the world, health officials uh, in Europe have been diagnosed with a virus. So I don't think, I mean, my guess is Tom Hanks isn't making it up, but it's possible. I, I admit it's possible. 
my guess is that he's really got it, but he will beat it because he'll get, of course, very good health care. Tom Hanks, maybe he's aware of antiviral nutraceuticals. He's probably demanding intravenous vitamin C therapy right now. That's what I would be doing. If I were diagnosed, I would immediately call up some of my friends in uh, alternative medicine and say, look, hit me with 50,000 milligrams of vitamin C, and that would be a, a great treatment, you know, and it would, it would probably have a very good effect. In fact, China is now uh, running multiple clinical trials looking at the effects of vitamin C intravenously uh, in order to stop this virus and actually treat it. So it's going to be interesting to watch how that goes. Now, understand that intravenous vitamin C treatment is very different from oral uh, consumption. Orally, it's very hard to get even 20,000 milligrams without experiencing, you know, typically loose stools or something like that. Your digestive tract can't handle that much. But intravenously, some, some doctors or alternative naturopaths will give you 50,000 milligrams, which is 50 grams or even 75 grams, or in some cases, even 100 grams. So my guess is if you combine that, and this is a very important message that I think Trump needs to get out there. You know, there are things that people can do right now that involve vitamin C and vitamin D3. I mean, Gary Haven yesterday mentioned magnesium and zinc as well. You know, Alex mentioned elderberry. There are many things that can be done right now. You could change your diet. You could save your life. You could start eating healthier and maybe stop the spread from someone else. You know, a lot of the strategies here, it's about breaking the cycle of the exponential spread. So there are really only two ways to do that right now. Number one is social distancing. You stay home, you stop going to social events. Secondly is antiviral, uh, nutraceuticals, vitamins, minerals, supplements, things that work, herbs that work. And there are lots of those out there in the marketplace. And I've just mentioned some of them. There are many more being studied as well. And, you know, this, nobody really has to be in even a 2% risk for this. I believe you could get your personal risk down to 0.1%, which is about the same as the seasonal flu, just by relying on nutraceuticals. Now, we can't prove it yet. We don't have the, the scientific data yet because it's so early in this. But then again, there's no vaccine. There's no pharmaceutical. So what's the harm in boosting your immune function, right? What's the harm in taking vitamin C? There's no harm at all. There's no downside to it. It's safe. It's affordable. It's effective. It boosts immune function in many ways that can help protect you against many, many things. And typically, many of these supplements reduce inflammation. So when we look at the mechanisms of coronavirus and how it, it increases inflammation dramatically, especially in lung tissue, actually scarring lung tissue, then you need to look at what you're eating and, and what you're taking. Are you eating a highly pro-inflammatory diet of fried foods and junk foods and soda and smoking cigarettes or things like that? All of those things can become very serious, even deadly risk factors if you are subjected to this infection. So if you ever needed an excuse, you know, to clean up your diet and eat healthier and turn to nutraceuticals as a, a good frontline defense mechanism, boost your immune function, this is a good time to do it. And I find it fascinating that people on the left, they normally want to promote natural health and natural medicine, but now suddenly when the coronavirus is out there, they say, oh, it's bad to talk about boosting immune function. It's bad to be healthy. It's bad to be buying hand sanitizer. They're, they're insane. And by the way, wasn't the mainstream media telling us this whole time before all this, oh, everybody should buy more stuff, buy more stuff. It's good for the economy. Remember, President Bush is like, buy more stuff to help the economy. So we're always told to buy more stuff. But then suddenly when there's a virus, it's like, stop buying stuff. W what? what? W where does that come from? I thought you told us to buy more stuff. Now it's not. Don't don't buy stuff. Don't buy masks. Don't buy food. Don't buy hand sanitizer. Are you kidding me? So I guess the advice is you're supposed to buy more stuff, but only when you're not panicked. If you have fear, it's not okay to buy stuff. But if you don't have fear, it's perfectly great to buy stuff. Well, then what about all the pharmaceutical advertising? Because that's all fear-based. You know, they say, oh, you're going to die from cancer in six months unless you take this chemotherapy. You know, the oncologist tells you that's fear-based decision-making at the cancer clinic. The media never attacks that, do they? Even though chemotherapy, the number one side effect, is more cancer, by the way. Chemotherapy kills more people than cancer. So if you didn't know that, you know, do your research. Because chemotherapy is more deadly than cancer. But they don't say that. They don't admit that. They say people died from the cancer when they really died from the chemotherapy. All so right, Mike Adams, you this. have done a great job. I'm glad you hosted a few segments so I wouldn't be...
uh, interrupting here. <laughs> uh, I, I expect the president to start restricting more foreign flights. And, yep. and I expect some announcements on the northern and southern border, particularly the southern, it's the most porous. Uh, when do you think he's going to make some of those announcements? Well, I, I would think that within the next 10 days, for sure, he'll start getting real serious about domestic flight restrictions, about the border, because it's a very politically charged issue. I don't know when that will happen, but it needs to happen now. And, and Trump needs to deploy the military and just ignore the, the, the critics on that. Just do it. Deploy the military, protect the border, stop the infections from walking in. Mike, great job. NaturalNews.com. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And I already mentioned this, but I'm going to just go over this again. Trump bans travel from Europe for 30 days. Really, he just called for more intensive screening. Democrats want to reverse Trump's travel bans despite coronavirus spread. And then they call that racist. You cannot make it up. Coronavirus travel ban, Eurocrat complains Europe is Trump's scapegoat, slams nationalism. Unbelievable. Those articles are up on Infowars.com. Jim Acosta complains Trump's xenophobia for calling Corona-19 a foreign virus. AOC says people aren't going to Chinese restaurants due to racism around the coronavirus. Really, I was in a Japanese restaurant the other night. So this is the type of garbage that's going on. Meanwhile, coronavirus is 10 times more lethal than the seasonal flu. Trump task force immunologist says. But the notice, the lethality keeps going down. I'm still saying it's a serious virus. You don't want it. It's man-made and it's mutating. And I haven't gotten to my big prime projection all the, on all this. And I'm going to do that when we come back in the next segment ahead of Joel Skousen. Separately, I'm very, very proud of the super silver immune gargle that we've had out for over three years. It is a bestseller. And it was sold out in the 16 ounce, the 3.4 ounce, and the one ounce spray bottle. And I use it personally for topical. I use it in my throat as well. Uh, and I also ingest it. It is designed for that. It has nano silver at 15 parts per million so that it is ingestible. I would still consult your physician and, and be safe with any of this because it does, on record, take out many viruses and bacteria. And I've got all the studies right here and the facts of that. Mainstream media tries to act like we're just making that up. And, ooh, some other groups got in trouble for their claims. Uh, yeah, you know, drinking bleach saying it cures all disease. I didn't say that. I think that's BS. I'm saying topically, or if it makes contact with a virus, silver's documented, and I, the studies are so legion, it'll make your head spin, and it's back in stock at 20% off at InfoWarsStore.com. You can also call toll-free, 888 And then Living Defense sold out for almost five months. The people love, you've heard the rave reviews of what it's done for them, what it's done for their families, what it's done to their overall gut floor and health. You like probiotics? This is next level. Living Defense sold out for months and months now, back in stock, discounted as well, and your purchase funds the info war while you see them all over the news saying, arrest me, get me, I'm a criminal, shut him down. They can't stand, we're on air. They want to be able to carry out what they're about to do without us on air. They don't want you to have a voice. They want to take your voice. But standing together, they're not going to get away with that. So I'm going to air this throughout the week on our radio and TV channels. But it's Monday night. I'm up here at like 5.45, cutting this unedited teleprompter free. So let me just boil it down like this. I went on air over a month ago and I said there's going to be food lines, there's going to be rushes on the grocery stores, there's going to be major sellouts of products. Because of the martial law events in China, Russia, South Korea, and Italy, you name it, a bunch of other countries. That's a no-brainer. Whether this virus is really super deadly or not, the response and the hype is huge. And so I watch other major food companies that are fly-by-night or who are corrupt continue for over a month to tell people we have seven-day delivery or even shorter. Well, when we went up to two weeks, three weeks, we told you because I don't want to be in the business of screwing people over and pissing you off. And then a few weeks ago, I said, hey, it's about to go from three weeks to four weeks. Then it went from four weeks to five weeks. And now it's six to eight weeks with the biggest food company in the United States. And I'm telling you the real numbers. As soon as we announced 
six to eight weeks, about five days ago, sales went down 80%. Meanwhile, I made phone calls. I put orders in to test. All the other fakes and fly-by-nights are saying one week, and their orders are going straight up. So it's a bizarre position to be in to be telling you the truth about food sales and to know that these other groups are scamming you and they don't even have the food. We have the food, but it will take five, six, seven weeks to get it all packaged because of specialty orders to get it out to you. Sure, most folks get it in four or five weeks, but there's a lot of specialty items, a lot of specialty foods. So just to be safe, we say six to eight weeks. I'm telling you the truth. If I just wanted to sell food to you, I would lie to you and say seven days, two weeks, it's BS. And then it discredits the storable food industry doing that. The reason I believe in storable food is we're on a planet with limited resources. We have a giant bubble economy. We have the globalists trying to break nation states and borders and trying to create economic collapse. That's the real reason I have storable food. And I went out and I found the best sponsor with the best storable food, high quality and very low prices to get to you. It's my Patriot Supply. They drop ship right from InfoWarsStore.com. But again, for me talking about this is just the frustration of knowing that all the other major distributors are sold out for at least a month and they're lying to you and saying they're going to ship it to you in seven days. And our phones are ringing off the hook. People going, wow, I ordered a month ago. I got my food in like two weeks. I ordered a week ago. I, you know, my food's being shipped. That's because you got the order in early. Now we have it queued. It could be up to eight weeks depending on the specialty order. We're not lying to you. And so you tell the truth, orders go down 60, 70, 80%. You lie, your orders go up. I'm not going to lie to you. But for folks out there that keep ordering from companies that have Patreon in the names and things like that, we ordered food five weeks ago. It never came in. We have the factories. We have the food. 24 hours a day, it's getting packaged, but it's six to eight weeks behind. We are under-promising, over-delivering. Most folks are getting in five weeks, but beware, folks. If you want your storable food, get it at InfoWarsStore.com or go buy it at the grocery store. But you notice a lot of that grocery store food is sold out as well, and it's marked up five times. InfoWarsStore.com.